Time now for the three-time world champion to step into the spotlight, 25-year-old Patrick Chan of Canada. Started the Grand Prix season off by winning gold on home ice at Skate Canada. Can he do it again here in Beijing? This is his first appearance at Grand Prix China out of 10 seasons on the Grand Prix circuit. He's got to make up some major points here. His opening element is the quad toe, triple toe. And here's his setup into the quad toe. Wow. Well, this is a good start. Setting up here for the quad sal, a new quad for the free program this season. Really needs to go deep into this edge. Adding a new jump element to your program is sometimes so overwhelming. It's not that you don't hit it a million times in practice and you're not prepared. It's okay, I finally got to do it in competition. It's more of a mental game. That quad sal definitely doesn't look like he's hit it a million times in practice. New element, not his strongest jump, the sal. Really beautiful edge work. This is where he excels and where he is head and shoulders above a skater like Jin Boyang. This is where he makes up those points. There's no one quite like Patrick. We're in the second half of the program. He wants that 10% bonus on this next element, which is a quad toe. on to that, but very clean. Johnny, the Canadian performance director said, Look at a score sheet, you see these young guys trying four to five quads, but they're still developing their component score. Patrick can overtake a 17 point gap, and it's true because he combines the artistry with the technical. the opportunity to perform and tour in China with Patrick, and the Chinese public definitely sees him as one of theirs, being Chinese-Canadian after all. Johnny, you can count me in as one of those big fans of Patrick Chan. I have to say he's one of those skaters that you can really appreciate that much more watching him live in person, to hear how quiet his blades are, to see his ice coverage. I just feel like I'm with him every step he takes, I think because I wish I could skate the way he does. Well, Tanith, his coach Marina Zueva has said, it's like having a moving Rembrandt in my rink and being able to watch that every single day is such a treat.
Well, that looks like a winning performance to me. I mean, even with a technically easier performance than Jin Boyang, you can see because of the quality of how well he did it, he's right there neck and neck technically. Plenty of crowd appreciation for the Olympic silver medalist Patrick Chan. Will that be enough to take him to the top? We'll find out in just a moment. Yeah. Patrick Chan there alongside his new coach Marina Zueva after his efforts in the free skate. And watch the reach back into this quad toe. That's how he gets that height, which is incredible. So much time to fit in the rotation. The quad sal here, he doesn't quite use his knee bend beautifully enough to get up into the air, a bit loose in the arms. It looks like a new element. Doesn't have the security like he does on the quad toe. And on tired legs in the second half, another quad toe. Very clean, holds on to it, but it counts. He was 12.7 points behind after the short program. He needs 195 to lead, and that'll do it. One point. That's all it took. Great performance from Patrick Chan once again coming back from a huge deficit in the short program to lead with one skater left in this Grand Prix China men's free skate event.